Severe flooding in Bangladesh, caused by relentless monsoon rains and rising water levels from upstream rivers, has had a devastating impact on the country. Officials have reported that over 5, 2 million people have been affected by the floods, with at least 20 lives tragically lost. The floodwaters have isolated numerous communities, leaving many in urgent need of essential supplies such as food, clean drinking water, medicine, and dry clothing. This is especially critical in remote areas where blocked roads have hindered rescue and relief operations. The situation is dire, with Chief Advisor Mohammed Yunus announcing in a televised speech that the government is taking all necessary actions to restore normalcy for the flood victims. Collaboration is underway with both governmental and private organizations to provide aid and support. Abdul Halim, a 65-year-old farmer from the Kumiya district, shared his harrowing experience of the floods in the middle of the night. His mud hut was suddenly swept away by a 10-foot surge of flood water. He expressed his frustration, saying there are no goods and no water, barely anyone, has come with relief aid deep inside the villages. You have to physically go close to the main road to collect it. This highlights the urgent need for assistance to reach the most affected areas. There have been claims from residents that the floods were worsened by the opening of dam, sluice gates in neighboring India. However, New Delhi has denied this allegation. In response, Muhammad Yunus mentioned that discussions have begun with neighboring countries to prevent future flood situations. Cooperation and proactive measures are being taken to address the causes and impacts of flooding. The Bangladesh Meteorological Department has warned that flood conditions could persist if the monsoon rains continue as water levels are receding at a slow rate. This ongoing threat adds to the urgency of relief efforts and the need for continuous support. Currently, more than 400,000 individuals have sought refuge in three 500 shelters located in flood-affected districts. The military and border guards are actively participating in rescue and relief efforts ensuring the safety and well-being of those affected by the floods. Bangladesh is one of the country's uh, most vulnerable to climate change and its catastrophic effects. A 2015 analysis by the World Bank Institute estimated that approximately 3, 5 million people in Bangladesh are at risk of annual river flooding. Scientists have linked the worsening of such events to climate change, highlighting the need for sustainable solutions and global cooperation in tackling this issue. Kabita Bose, country director of Plan International, Bangladesh, described the impact of this year's monsoon rains as widespread and devastating. Entire communities have been completely inundated, and millions of people, including children, are in desperate need of safe shelter and life-saving humanitarian assistance. The situation calls for immediate action and support from the international community to alleviate the sufferings of those affected by the floods in Bangladesh.